kind of in a pocket in our neighborhood where we thought we would be rezoned. And so we were kind of excited about the possibility, honestly. Changes coming to Killeen ISD, a new rezoning plan is set to impact all four high schools in the district. The school board has approved new maps that could send thousands of high schoolers to a new campus next year. 25 News reporter Adam Schindler tonight is breaking down those maps and what options families now have. Students who attend one of Colleen's four high schools like Ellison here behind me could find themselves attending the new Chaparral High School come next fall. Colleen ISD has spent over $118 million to build a new high school off Chaparral Road that will be their largest campus once it's done. The goal is to alleviate overcrowding at other campuses, but that does mean that some students will be moving to the new school due to rezoning. This rezoning impacts students from all of our high schools. About 2,600 students in all will be shifting schools throughout the next year when we start up in August. Thanks to community input, though, the district is providing options for students who don't want to change schools. Grandfathering for students to remain at their current high school was really important. And so last night, Dr. Kraft actually proposed that all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders would be able to grandfather if they could meet those criteria. The rezoning is also affecting current 8th graders who will be freshmen next year, and one family with a soon-to-be freshman sees it as a good thing. The idea of rezoning is actually exciting for us, the opportunity for her to possibly go to a brand new school uh, with all the bells and whistles and with all the things is something that she personally would look forward to. Current 8th graders zoned for older schools will have the option to go to Chaparral High School if they choose to, and some families are weighing that option. We have had that discussion actually. We drove by Chaparral High School the other day to kind of look at it and see where it is, how it would be for a commute, because obviously transportation would be part of our commitment to that school. Students who wish to remain at their current school or shift to Chaparral will have to show good standing for attendance and discipline, and families will have to provide their own transportation, making the decision up to the whole family. If we're not a part of the of where the school can provide transportation, that's something that we're going to have to do. So as much as I'd like to say the decision is all up to her, it's not. <laughs> Families impacted by the rezoning are going to receive more information in the mail, and those electing to go to the new high school or stay at their current school will be able to start that process after spring break. In Colleen, Adam Schindler, 25 News.